Hey everyone, welcome back to Signal Processing with Paul. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how you can use Zotero with Overleaf and basically create custom citation keys and really keep your bibliographies managed really nicely. One of the things I had been doing is just copying the bib tech files from Google Scholar and it wasn't all that great. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how you can use Zotero with Overleaf to manage your bibliography. So first thing you should do is go ahead and download Zotero. It's free, a buddy of mine, Lathan, he showed it to me recently and I really fell in love with it. And what you can do if you find some some new paper, so here's a new paper that I'm that's you know sort of related to some of the work that I'm doing. When you install the browser extension, what'll happen is you can just click this and what it'll do is it'll basically save it to that particular project. So you can add tags if you want to. So this is an ML paper, it's a sort of stats paper. And when I click done, what it'll do, as long as you have the Zotero app running, it will add it in here. Now this is all standard stuff. When you use Zotero, you can, you can see how this works. But what I'm gonna be doing in this video is showing you how to use this with the better bib tech plugin. So the first thing we need to do is download better bib tech. You can just Google better bib tech for Zotero. And what we need to do is of course download it. So I'm gonna click download and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the, just the, uh, the, the download here. And just, we're gonna click on download and that's gonna download right here to my downloads folder. Now in Zotero, what I need to do is go under tools and under add-ons, what I need to do is actually add this add-on. So I'm gonna click install add-ons from file here in the settings page and I'm gonna go to my downloads here at the bottom. Here it is, and we're gonna click on it and click install now. Now this is gonna install. What you need to then do is of course restart Zotero so that it has it in. So when I reopen Zotero, what's gonna happen is what you'll see is you'll see this new paper here, but what we can do is actually create our own custom citation keys for use in any sort of LaTeX document manager. So here is my new paper. What you want to do under the extra category is create a new field that says citation key. You need to have a space there. I use an underscore and it wouldn't work. And then just give it the name that you would want to use when you use your backslash cite command. So for this citation key, I'm going to say um, averaging weights and then I'll put is Meloff. That's, that's how I like you know, using my uh, my citation keys. And when you do this, notice how it's going to pin it here at the top. So this is going to pin this new citation key. You can tell that the better bib tech manager is working because it's done this. And now I can use the cite key with this. Now, how does this work in terms of an Overleaf project? So if I'm using Overleaf, let me go ahead and create a new blank project. I'm gonna just call this bib tech, I guess, tutorial. And when it opens, what I need to do is then basically add my, uh, my bibliography. So I'm gonna go ahead and say use package. We're gonna use just nat bib and I'm gonna put bibliography style and I wanna do your, this basically standard nat bib style. And now what I need to do is add my bibliography. So what I'm gonna do is click new file from Zotero and you have to link your account in Zotero, which it'll ask you to sign in. And I'm just gonna call it references.bib. This is all fine. So when I create this, when I click create, what'll happen is it's going to add this bibliography file to my Overleaf project. But the cool thing here is anytime you add something new, you can just basically refresh this document and it will add all of your new citations into this document and it does your master list. So it's all of the different you know papers and citations that I have. But to me, that's okay. Um, I like kind of having this master list and not having to manage them individually. So now what I can do is basically say cite and look, which sure enough, we have averaging weights, this particular paper. And I can say, here is the paper. And then at the end, what I'm gonna do is say bibliography and I'm just gonna put the references, which is just the name of the .bib file that got created there. When I recompile it here, by doing it this way, not only has it added this citation style here, but it's actually created a, a bibliography. It's created a basically works cited page. And as I was to add more papers, you know, say I go back here and I go here and I have this expected log likelihood paper. So let me go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm gonna put citation space key and I'm gonna put expected maximum log like, maybe something like this. 
all I need to do then is refresh my references page. And usually the newest ones will show up on the top. So as soon as it does this, you will see, boom, there it is. And I can say, and site expected maximum log like, oops. And when I just save it, you'll see it'll then add them both to the bibliography. So it's really nice, really, really convenient to do it that way. You can change the style, of course, if you'd like to, but I like using this one because you can do parenthetical or textual citations using these different commands. And this NatBib package, is, it's really basic, but I like it. It's just really simple for getting started. So hope you found this helpful. Once again, Zotero's free. This Better Bib Tech Manager is free as well. So hopefully you download it and find it helpful. I found it to really speed up all the sort of tedious copy and pasting citations into a .bib file, and then you want to use it on a different document. It's just annoying. So this is the way to do it. I found it just works really well. And uh, yeah, better uh, uh, good luck managing your citations and all your papers and everything. Have a good one.